Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Jeff, I'm The Average Artist and today we are looking at unicorn milk. This comes in a beautiful little package like this that's so very sparkly and looks like a carton of milk which is really super cute. It opens at the top and it has loads of pictures on the side and stuff and information about the, uh, the product which is really cool. Mine came a little bit banged up but that's kind of normal for postage. Anyway, it opens up like this at the top and inside you get a little wooden stirring stick. You also get some instructions I think and then you get the paint itself. So here it is comes in this bubble pen and it is unicorn milk. Uh, basically it goes over the top of some paint and it makes it super pearlescent and beautiful and I'm really excited to try this product out so uh, let's get into it. Okay these are not instructions this is just like some little jokery about a unicorn sanctuary and how all these unicorns have not been uh, hurt in the making of this product. It's just like a little jokey thing, which is quite cute, but you know, totally useless to me. <laughs> so I thought we'd start out with uh, doing some sketches and uh, I'll run you through what I've been working on. I've been working on some concepts for a short horror anthology kind of thing. So I've got three short stories in mind of the kind of horror comic I wanna do. And I know that I wanna do it in this style. I just running you through it. Um, if you're a patron, you've already seen all this because I share a lot with my patrons. If you're interested, check it down below. But this is my sketchbook, how it's going at the moment, the process. Um, yeah, just getting really into the idea of doing this. If you've been following along, you know that uh, I'm doing some horror comics. And there's three short stories, basically. And one of them will have uh, will be set in the 90s and it will kind of have a girl sort of looking like this and I think her bedroom will be very 90s so I'd really like to sort of design some 90s scheme of a bedroom or something like that that would go with her style and maybe we can use the unicorn milk to kind of bring out some spring sparkle um, sorry about that for this so I think that would be really cool so let's uh, let's try it out shall we so I've got my amazing Tombow mechanical pencil. This is one that I got from Japan and I've been obsessed with it. I really like using it. I used to hate mechanical pencils, but now I've gotten really into using them. And uh, I know that's a super interesting fact, but some of you, some of you like to hear these facts. So I'm gonna go with that. I think what we're gonna do is kind of design some sort of like thumbnails of her room and then maybe use the unicorn milk within that sort of sketch. So I think what I really like the idea of her room being like completely cluttered and messy because I think this character would be kind of a messy person. Looking at 90s stuff was really fun so I think that was a real breakthrough for me when I was like oh I could just you know I can draw whatever I want that's a that's a good thing to know. This doesn't look very messy yet but it will when I kind of clog up this area a little bit. So all of these are going to be short stories, it's three short stories and so we don't really get to know the characters too deeply within the story. So I'm hoping that like the backgrounds and stuff like that will really be able to show a bit of a personality more than them because there's going to be quite limited dialogue. I know that one of the stories is going to have absolutely no dialogue so you have to tell it through showing like a lot more, so a lot more movement and just reactions and things happening in within the, the comic itself is gonna tell the story rather than any dialogue, which is gonna be tough, but I think it will be a really cool thing. Like one story will completely differ from another. So I think that'll be a really interesting thing to do. Okay, I know that this paint is supposed to go over paint, but I think what I'm gonna do is just like use my alcohol markers and then use this on the top and see if that works out. So if you know my old previous comic, Emily is Burning, you'll know that it kind of had a limited colour palette and then changed in other areas. So I want to keep like a really limited colour palette for this one, I think, and then get a bit crazy <laughs> uh, in the uh, in the next ones as I go on. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so there's my really quick 
pencil uh, bedroom sketch and I'm going to dive in with using the unicorn milk. Let's try it out. So it does seem to layer down but I don't think too much is happening. Maybe it just needs like a really really dark under colour. I recently bought a load of these polychromous pencils so I'm going to be using this to kind of block out uh, colours of the drawing and I really like this kind of like loose messy line work style I think it looks really uh, visually interesting something that I would probably enjoy reading so that's kind of like why I do it yeah I do like the way that it's dried I think it looks a lot better dried it's kind of cool makes me feel like maybe this comic should be like shiny <laughs> if that's even possible like is there a place to print where some pages could be like really not holographic but kind of shiny like this that'd be interesting if just one story had like really really shiny pages and one and another story was like dull colors but like interesting looking that might be fun to do you guys let me know if you know a printer does that kind of thing. That is the result of the first one. I do have to point out that the unicorn milk is supposed to be used on acrylic. So I'm being a bit cheeky trying to make it work with these alcohol markers here. So I'm not surprised that it wasn't like the best results. Um, but I'm going to try it on a darker set of pens and see what happens. And then if nothing works and I'll use like acrylic paints and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So here's what I'm thinking. I like this drawing, but I really want to go like crazy with the unicorn milk now and see what it looks like totally, um, covered in this stuff. And I think it will look quite fun. Um, obviously I'm going to use it in like selected areas. So I want to use it in the background as if the stars are out and then I'll go over it with like something else. I'm not sure. Just playing with it basically. Um, not using it how I'm supposed to be. I'm aware. Don't get cross. I will test it out with some acrylic in a moment. I just wanted to see if I could bend the rules with it. <laughs> also, it's given me like such a good idea to try and have like holographicness on the page. I guess that would just cost a lot of money though to like print it, but that could be really fun. I'll see. I'm gonna do some research later. Uh, especially for like this kind of super uh, quirky 90s comic. See, it's showing up like a lot better on this dark colour and I think that's probably what you're supposed to use it on, not just like light colours, so it makes sense. I think as well it dries like a lot um, sparklier, I don't know if that's the right term, more pearlescent. I think that was a mistake putting a big glob there, but oh well. So yeah, I think it looks quite cool. Uh, I'll probably finish this page off later and upload it to Patreon and see what those guys think. But yeah, this is kind of nice. I like this idea of the shininess and I think it does work with this style. It's really girly and quirky. Very 90s, I would say. I'm gonna try it now and use it with acrylic paint as it is supposed to be used and we'll see what happens with that. But this is how it turned out with the alcohol markers, me cheating the system again. And yeah, I kind of like it, to be honest. It looks nice in a sketchbook. Let's get down to the acrylics. Some of you eagle-eyed people might notice that it is now the next day. Um, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> I got tired and uh, I, um, I'm filming now, it's fine. I'm gonna do a really quick, like, uh, abstracty acrylic painting with these paints. And uh, then I'll use the unicorn milk and I think that will be pretty cool. I wanted to use like a, a pretty limited colour palette with these. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I have now allowed this to dry slightly. I think there's still areas where it's like a bit soft, but I'm gonna add the unicorn milk now into the areas that I think would make it look cool. Um, I just did some like random design, but I really like the way that it looks. 
yeah I'm just gonna kind of go for it because like I said I think it looks better on like dark colors or it's more obvious so I really wanted to put like a layer of this dark blue going across this sort of random colors and I think it would look nice to have it covered in this unicorn milk this pearlescent color anyway what are your thoughts on this so far let me know down below I'm interested to see what you guys think because I'm kind of in uh, two minds about it as well like I'm a bit unsure if I like it or not I think it's kind of fun to play around with but I'm not really sure what I would do with it in my everyday kind of like artwork like I said it would be cool to have this kind of shimmery effect on like a comic page but I wouldn't use this stuff but yeah I bought it because it looked fun and I wanted to test it out for you guys but yeah I'm not sure what I would use it for but yeah it's it's cool it's pretty cool um it's kind of working nicely on this color let's see what it looks like over here if I just use like a, a little bit to give a shimmer okay that's kind of all I want to use really I don't think it needs too much more um, I'm gonna let this dry and we'll see how it looks at the moment it kind of looks like white paint really which is not really the effect that I wanted <laughs> okay so it did dry a little bit differently than it looked a second ago it kind of came out to like this silver color so let's see how pearlescent it looks if I take it off this brown paper that I was using to protect my table stuff on there. <laughs> okay, here's gonna be tricky because it's kind of a big here. There we go. Okay, so this is how it looks with the light. It's quite cool. Yeah, I like it. I think that was quite fun to use. I do like doing abstract stuff it's quite fun but I don't know if it has like that much meaning for you guys but I really enjoy just doing random brush strokes like this and I think that looks pretty cool let me know what you guys think and yeah we have the comic style ish of the rooms with the paint used on it and then we also have the abstract piece which I think came out cooler than the comic stuff just my personal opinion and that's the unicorn milk so if you guys would like to check this out, uh, I got this off Stuart Semple's website. I'm not affiliated with them or anything, I just uh, bought this myself, but maybe you guys like the look of this, I don't know. And that's it guys, thanks for watching. Please uh, give me a like and subscribe if you if you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out. I'd just like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons. They are Devon, Ace Tubulum, Jacqueline, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte and Alex. Thank you guys so much for your support, it means the world to me. I'll, I hope to see you next time, bye!